Good morning, my beautiful besties. It is a good day for self-care. My PMDD is really kicking in this week. I've felt it in my heart and how tired I've been. So I was like, I need a self-care day. So I was like, Nick, let's go to Lineage tomorrow. And he said, of course. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to Lineage, I'm gonna get a coffee, and then I'm going to live my day as stress-free as possible and as gentle as possible. I already did my skincare, if you notice. I used the Kosas SPF and the Glossier face wash that I've been absolutely loving. It's so good. Anywho, let's go on an adventure. <laughs> My blueberries are popping off. They're almost taller than Nicholas. But the sad news is I killed my strawberry plant. Yep, good old charcoal. I did that, unfortunately. I'll get into it later. But at least this is thriving. This is so crazy. Let's look at the little, I think that's the start of berries. I'm not entirely sure, but. mini declutter right now of my makeup this is the dior nine pan palette i was looking at it and i sometimes think that this one is this really warm one that i have just because when i look at this i, I just see so much warm shades and so i really wanted to swatch them and figure out if i'm even gonna use them i barely have used them since i got them to be honest i don't know if you can see if you really press on pigment you can get somewhere but i just feel like i have better versions of all these shades in my collection so i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this and see if there's anything that really intrigues me about the palette you have that topper shade in here it really does not perform well. I was initially super excited about these because they were reformulated in a clean formula, but I think these are two that I'm gonna let go. They're so gorgeous and I really wanna keep them, I think, for the packaging, but this just isn't my color story. This is more of my color story, so if I was gonna keep one, it would be this. Definitely needs to get rid of this one. This is gonna hurt, but I'm gonna give it to my sister and 
I know she or her kids will get so much more use out of this palette than I will having it sit here. And that's part of the reason why I'm doing my low buy is because things look so amazing and sparkly and fresh and new and then you get them and they're not as great as you think they are. And then you're just left with all this makeup that you don't use. So I'm really trying to be more mindful of the stuff that I actually enjoy. I'm just gonna keep this one and see if I use it. If I don't use it, I will get rid of it. That's for sure. I also have a few ColourPop eyeshadows that I've never even used that I've just had sitting in my collection. So I need to swatch those as well and see if I still want them. This is the shade Aster. That's a really pretty color. Please ignore the scar. We're just gonna do it over here. That's a pretty shade, but it's a little bit copper for me. Bye bye Aster. I'll put it in here for my sister. What do we have next? Sailor. I know I'm gonna want to keep this one. I had this back in the day, but let's see if it still excites me as much as it did back in the day. It's like a champagne with a flip. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the shade Peekaboo. They're all basically the same shade, so I should probably be more cutthroat. Yeah, too yellow for me. Right there, do not need it. And this is the shade 2014. It's a light bronze from what it looks like right here. It's pretty, but I'm gonna swatch the other ones and see if I have something similar, because if I have a similar color, I don't need to keep this. Poosh. Oh, this one's super creamy. There's nothing wrong with this one. It's nice. It's just, I don't have the thought to use it a lot. I'm gonna keep Ritz. What is this one? Ladybird. Let me swatch this one. If I remember correctly, this is a special shade as well. Oh yes. It's hard to, I don't really have any lights on right now, so it's hard for you to see, but that one's really sparkly and beautiful. So we'll keep that one. This one is a little quirky. That's pretty. All right, this one is also kind of on the chopping block. It's pretty, but do I need it? This one is frog. This one is a really gorgeous glittery pink shade, but I don't think I'm gonna reach for that a lot considering I have the other ones. So this can go, even though it's pretty. And then this last one is tassel, which if I remember correctly is a super glittery white shade. That's pretty. I'm debating getting rid of this one too though because I have that Stila eyeshadow that I love way more. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Even though if you want a sort of glittery wet look option, Tassel could probably do that for you over top of other shadows. We'll get rid of that one. I've kept three so far. So let's see which one is the best. Maybe I'll just keep one more. I have to swatch them all again. <laughs> Koosh is beautiful, but I just feel like I have it in single shadows that won't expire as quickly, so I'll give that to my sister. All right, let's just put both on my eyes and see which one I like more. I think I'm gonna keep a little quirky. You can't see on camera, but it's just a little more special than the other one. Let me just even my eyes out really fast. <laughs> Here's what we're keeping so far from this little random declutter. I also wanna try this. This is the Sydney Grace. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think it's a shadow, but I know it's a dark color. So I wanna see what it looks like. It's a steely gray color. There might be a tiny bit of a blue undertone. That's really pretty. I don't have anything else like this, so I'm gonna keep this for now. But again, if I don't reach for it at all until the end of the year, I'm going to just get rid of it. This one's called Black Hole. Interesting. All right, so here's what we're getting rid of. And here's what we're keeping. That was great for an impromptu declutter. Hello besties. Look at these little pups. So I just got a decaf iced espresso. There's no syrup in it, but there is the pumpkin cold foam. I'm so excited. Look at these babies. I also got a apple muffin. I just woke up today just feeling off. I don't know if I'm PMSing or whatever. So the self care is going to continue on. I've already got some work done cause it's already like 12. And then I got a little bit hungry, but I'm not ready for full on lunch yet. So I just wanted a little snack. Look at them. <laughs> So cute. I took the boys with me. We had the windows down. It was a really, really good ride. It felt so nice out. I mean, it's hot, but it felt nice. I was just checking in. 
it's a brand new day. I meant to do gardening early this morning before work, but it just didn't happen. So I think that's gonna be on the agenda for tomorrow. But for now, I'm just feeling like off and I need to recharge my batteries. So I went for a drive, took my babies with me and I did my makeup today. It's super, super basic just in my eyes and some color corrector and concealer. I was trying out that Dior blush again because it did not work out well the first time I used it and I kind of like it now. It's not my favorite. I'm not going to get like an orange color again. It's just not a shade for me, but I'm going to go in. I need to get back to work. These boys need a little snack too. Look at that face. All right, besties, it's a brand new day. I just took a shower. I got a small Sephora order in and I know you're probably like, oh, you said you're doing a low buy and I am. <laughs> I've had a lot of stuff go out and I've actually needed to replace a few things that I ran out of, but let me just show you. I'm not gonna do a whole haul right now, but I will show you what I really wanted to try is this. It's a brown mascara from the Pillow Talk line from Charlotte Tilbury. I thought this would be a great mascara for like everyday use. It's the Push Up Lashes, so I wanna try that today because I'm doing basically no makeup. It seems to be like that reddish brown Pillow Talk shade. I'm about to go get sugaring done, which I've never had it before. I've only ever gotten waxed. So this should be an interesting adventure to say the least. That definitely looks much more natural than a black mascara, at least on my skin tone. But I figured I would share my experience with you in this vlog in case you have never heard of sugaring because I didn't even realize it was an option in my area. I guess there is a chain of sugaring places near me the only one i knew of was european wax center for like actual waxing and to be honest i haven't gone to get waxed in a really long time just from being uncomfortable in my body and i've been working on that and so that's why i'm like you know what yolo i just need to get it done because being uncomfortable in my body has led me to not get my women wellness checks and all this stuff which i just like woke up the other day and i was like i don't want that to hold me back anymore like i am over it <laughs> i'm gonna have to start loving myself at some point so i'm like let me just do this so i will feel better then i'll get my woman's wellness check which I like hate admitting that I have missed out on the women's wellness check for a very long time, but I have. This is a very interesting applicator. I'm not sure if I love the applicator, but we'll see how I go. I'm gonna give this a really solid few weeks to try out. Honestly, I'm just probably gonna use the whole thing <laughs> before I decide if I like it or not, but I need to fill in my brows a tiny bit. It's crazy because every single time I've taken a shower, I've, I've gotten new empty. It, they're just like piling up out of nowhere. So I'm so excited to do that video with you guys pretty soon, a little update. I'm feeling better today mentally. Yesterday, I took myself out, got some fresh air, got some sun. I love my hair slightly wavy. I think that's really pretty. I took a shower, obviously, so it's just drying how it naturally would. I don't know if I ever came back on camera and told you guys this, but I am decluttering this palette. I don't need it in my collection. And actually, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this video a standalone video or part of a vlog, we'll see. But here is my palette that I use of my singles and the thing that made me decide I don't need literally any other palette. And then this is the new palette that I got. So I bought this palette. It's like a recycled one from Adept Cosmetics. I wanted just a bigger one so I could put in the new shades that I talked to you guys about, like finding a navy and olive green and like a matte and a shiny formula. So I got this. And if you're wondering what this is, this is the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona. It's the new one. And I only kept the shades that didn't have talc in it. About five had talc in it. And these are from JD Glow because I want to try some indie brand cosmetics just so I have a more robust view of what's on the market, but still keeping it a very contained collection. So I'm going to be giving this palette to my sister but I'm putting all the shadows in here so this will be my one palette that I own and I never want to have more single eyeshadows than what fits in this palette so that's the goal maybe I'll just do a nice ASMR video where it's like an overhead shot let me know what you guys want to see I think I'm just gonna put the teeniest bit of color corrector on this is what I got from Sephora. I did not have a single color corrector, so I needed to pick this up. This is the Prism Libre Green Skin Concealer because I have a lot of redness in my skin. I'm trying to neutralize because I feel like the redness impacts what foundations I like because I like very light tinted foundations. I don't like anything heavy. And I think my redness peeks through, which makes me think that some shades aren't a match for me. I mean, clearly the Ilya skin tint is way too warm for me, but I just kind of wanted to dull down the redness just a tiny bit and see what that does for me that did a little bit i think i need a darker green though i'll see what i can do to make that work because i really don't want to return it i just want to like use up the products that i buy so that is what we are looking like today i do need a lippy my lips are so dry today it's just going to be the saint jane bliss lip gloss i am trying to use this one up but not actively i just try to reach for it whenever i need a lipstick but i'm not like actively like okay i need to use this three times a day so i use it up 
there you go and this is my makeup for today i'm a super simple day today makeup wearer in fact i'm not even wearing a skin tint today i'm just wearing the kosas tinted spf mascara brows and a lippy so easy you can honestly do this in under like five minutes if you wanted to just look a little bit more polished and ready to go anywho i'm also working on a fashion video for fall if you see all the stuff right there i'm so excited there's some really beautiful pieces i also need to clean my room today it's kind of getting out of control but actually i'm starting to get late for my appointment so i need to go let's go get some sugary done besties 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 if you happen to know me in real life just click out of this video because this is gonna get awkward but <laughs> If you want to hear about my Brazilian sugaring experience, then keep on watching. I'm gonna timestamp it just in case you don't need to be hearing this. I'll just say this, overall, I'm glad I did it, but I'm gonna get into it. I went to the studio and it was really clean in there. It was really nice. It was nice and cool. I've been to European wax centers before where they're very like warm. <laughs> and so I was nervous trying a new studio. Like this is a new chain. It's not European wax center. It's actually called Mama Bear, if I know correctly. I'll link them down below. I don't have like a link, but I'll put their website down below. I was literally so nervous. So they brought me back to the room they gave me a little cleansing cloth to use like they closed the door i used the cleansing cloth and got on the bed there was a nice big fan pointing at me which was amazing i could not ask for more and she came in she explained like what sugaring is like because i've never had it done and basically it's just a thick sugar paste it's just sugar lemon juice and water and she just basically told me what she was going to be doing and she was so sweet she was so talkative which was great because i was going through it <laughs> so i haven't had anything done in a long time as far as like waxing or anything and I just trim. <laughs> I don't use a razor because I find that the hair grows back thicker and it doesn't feel good. Like it's just very uncomfortable for me and I get ingrowns. So I'm just a trimmer. And <laughs> this is so awkward. I am literally sweating <laughs> going through this, but you must know, I must share. Cause I couldn't find a lot of plus size women talking about sugaring and I was super nervous about that part. Anyway, so I knew my hair was gonna be super tough. So she started, she wiped it down with alcohol then put powder in my area. And then she just started sugaring. And the first strip across like the top, fine, it hurt, but not that bad but <laughs> the further down you go not including your butt your butt doesn't hurt but the further down you go oh my god it hurt me so bad that was so painful i don't know if it's just because i grow really thick body hair in general or if it's because i haven't had anything done in a while but i was like sweating i was dripping in sweat i'm still sweating actually but i did turn my fan off in here so you guys wouldn't hear it i was kind of embarrassed because i was sweating and i was also kind of embarrassed because i was plus size but she immediately made me feel so comfortable. I kept telling myself like, this is normal. There's nothing wrong with my body. Sweat is normal. Everybody sweats. It makes sense that I'm sweating. My body's keeping me alive. So this is the size that I am right now. And it still deserves to be treated with the same love and respect and care that I would have give it when I was a smaller size. So I kept telling myself that stuff and it really helped. And she was so nice. <laughs> and I filled out this little form before I started and it asked if I wanted her to talk or not. And I'm like, yes, please talk my ear off. <laughs> So it was very, very painful. The butt does not hurt at all, I promise you. Like once you get through the first part, the butt is a cakewalk. Like I wish. <laughs> that's all that i had to do i'm still sweating from that it was such an experience i'm exhausted like it didn't take that long it probably took 20 minutes when i would get waxed she would normally put a strip down take it off and then in my lip area they would have to keep going over and over it because the hairs wouldn't come out when i would get waxed but sugaring wasn't the case it was way less passes over my body which was so nice even though it hurt and so i'm assuming that next time i get it done it's gonna hurt a lot less and i booked it for exactly four weeks from now so i can just get it done while it's the least painful and the reason why i'm getting it done in the first place is because it is more comfortable for me that's why i'm even doing it and going through this now but it is mama bear sugaring studio i did buy some aftercare products i did not have any of these so i was like okay i will need these there is an ingrown hair little treatment which is great because i do not have one of those they said i needed to exfoliate i think three times a week in those particular areas and i need to moisturize nightly so i got their shea butter that they were selling it's just shea butter and non-guy oil never heard of that but i don't have shea butter <laughs> anywhere in my skincare so i picked that up and the last thing i got was this small bottle of their aftercare gel so this is what she put on at the end of the service and you really only need it the first day but because i'm so so sensitive down there i'm gonna use this for the first couple days i think so this is three purchases but i've decluttered so much that i don't even mind for my no buy because i don't have like comparable things to this on my shelf everything i have is for like your face and your body which is a way different ph than your 
sanitary areas. <laughs> and I got a free glove for exfoliating. I don't wanna scare you, but that exhausted me. But I cannot tell you enough how much I'm glad that I did it, even though it was extremely painful, because now that the pain is over, I'm chilling. Like it doesn't continue to hurt after you get it done. It's just the act of the pulling itself is what hurts. And you know what actually hurt me a little bit was when they were spreading the sugar on. It like pulled my skin, but I just, I don't know if that's because like I'm plus size. So there's more like give to my skin. Like my skin will move more than somebody who's probably in a smaller body, but that's just my experience. Good morning, my beautiful besties. I woke up with Nick, got a coffee as always. And now I figured I would check in with you guys before the end of the video to tell you like what's been going on. Please ignore my hair. We're in between offices for our marketing company. So right now everybody is working out of our house. So it's super chaotic right now. And everybody's gone today, which is fantastic for me. So I can just exist today. It has been a very, very busy past few months, honestly. And we've had house guests, so I haven't been able to film as much. I mean, not their fault. I just, you know, like to film when I'm alone or just with my Nicholas. I have so much I need to get done today. I don't know if I'm gonna film today. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here, to be honest with you. This wasn't really a fall vlog and I'm sorry. I really did mean to do a fashion video this week, but I just really needed some decompression time from <laughs> this past few weeks. It's been a lot on me so I, didn't, I just didn't want to do the fashion video because they're really fun to do it just takes a lot of like mental and physical energy to put those out mental energy that I did not have today so I think what I'm gonna do is drink my coffee edit probably wear pajamas all day because that sounds fun until I have to like actually go out into the world again and go for a walk or something but I hope you had a great weekend I hope the rest of your weekend goes well and I will see you in the next one I love you bye